Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the combat tracker within Above VTT. So you can see here on the scene I have five goblins, a character named Galvin Dragonmore, and this Brogue token down here. Uh, combat has started, so I will press this combat, combat button up here, or press C to open up the combat tracker. I can pop out the window by clicking that button there, but I typically leave it as this iframe window as it is. Uh, now that we have declared uh, initiative, I tell the characters to roll initiative, and they will do that directly from their character sheets uh, by clicking the initiative button. Uh, you can see it rolls the dice, and then uh, they rolled a 13 on the dice, plus 3 is 16, so they have a 16 here, and then you see a 16 after the decimal point as well. That'll be the deck score uh, in case of any tie breakers that need, maybe need to occur. Uh, which you can find in the settings uh, by pressing this cog icon on the top of the combat tracker. The first setting here is add tiebreaker to initiative rolls, which will uh, apply that deck score as a decimal after the roll. Uh, it's helpful in case someone else rolls a 16, but their deck score is only a 12. We'll know that Galvin goes before them. Uh, so moving on to add these creatures to the combat tracker, I'm holding shift while I left click each one of these goblins. Um, or I can just, of course, drag a box around them if I'd, if I'd like. Um, but as, since they are, you know, all the same t creature type, I typically like to use like a mob rules and I'll add them, uh, to the combat tracker as a group by clicking this add to combat as a group. Uh, with that, you can see over here, there's this drop down, expand arrow or expand group arrows. If I click that, you can see each one of the goblins in there and I can of course modify their HP and find each one of them as well if I need to. So if I click this like uh, find token icon in between the eye and the menu uh, stat block icons, it will pinpoint and highlight and kind of ping that token that I clicked. And you know, it's very useful if someone's targeting someone and uh, you need to be able to focus on them to find which one exactly they're targeting. Uh, it's a nice little useful feature for that. Uh, I'll go ahead and add this brogue to the combat tracker as well. I'll right click him and just do add to combat tracker. I could roll with initiative or, or I'm sorry, with advantage or disadvantage if I'd like. Uh, that says green button for advantage, red button for disadvantage, but I'm just gonna do a flat roll for now. And he rolls a 4.14. So you can see uh, at the start of the round, uh, Galvin is highlighted with this green around him. I'll hit next and when that next uh, button is clicked or Galvin can click end on his end of things as well as the uh, player character. Um, with this Goblin Warrior, you guys saw that uh, it kind of pinged and moved the screen in his direction. If I click this cog icon again, you can see this auto center token on next slash previous is enabled. That's uh, what that feature does. It'll help um, you all focus in on whoever's next. Uh, this is a local setting, so the DM can set it and it'll be you know, applicable to their end, or each one of the players can set it if they'd like to as well. Uh, moving down on this uh, settings list, you can see that we have select token on next slash previous. Uh, it'll essentially do the same thing. It'll select that token for you. Uh, you can select this uh, setting to auto roll monster initiative at the top of the round. I usually have that off. I'll click save on that to keep that off. But um, if I do keep that on, let me show you exactly what that does. You see the goblins have uh, 10.15, the brogue has 4.14. If I hit next to go to the top of the round, you see it re-rolled for them. Now they have a 17.15 and the Berg has a 13.14. Um, you know, maybe it's a variable rule you might use, but personally in my games, we don't do that. Uh, next option here is ignore token saved initiative on add to combat. Uh, if I, I usually have this um, off because I like to save the initiative. This is useful in case like I accidentally delete Galvin from the combat tracker. I can just simply right click him, add to combat tracker, and it'll remember his initiative. If I was to uh, enable that setting, hit save, uh, delete him from it, um, you'd see he rolls a zero now and he has to re-roll. Or I'd be like, oh, Galvin, what did you roll? And he's like, I don't know, it was like a 25, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it was a 25 because... I'm gullible and I forgot, so I add that to the combat tracker again. But you know, leaving this uh, setting off is a great way to um, mitigate any errors that you might have from deleting from the combat tracker. And if you do happen to need to re-roll for someone, uh, like say I don't want this broken initiative anymore, or I don't want Galvin in the initiative anymore, but uh, now they're getting in another fight. So I click add to combat tracker and it's like, oh, why, why is he 25 still? It's, oh yeah, that's right, I have the initiative saved. So you can click um, re-roll or you can click clear 
and that will um, help with that as well for the monsters only, not for characters. Uh, I made a little slip on that, but yeah, so that works only for the characters to so clear and re-roll. The uh, players will have to re-roll on their character sheet, and if you don't want it to save, you just have to click this ignore token saved initiative on add to combat feature. Uh, last setting in here is highlight selected token image. If I save that, let me go ahead and just add these guys to the combat tracker again. Uh, let me hit next. You see it selects those tokens um, for you, and um, and it also will kind of like highlight the uh, selected image altogether. I usually just keep that off. Um, don't really need it on, and um, it really is mostly effective for the combat tracker for showing like some sort of uh, highlight um, around them. Um, finally, you guys can see in the combat tracker here these you know, different input areas. Uh, there's the health for this brogue and the health for these goblins here. Say the brogue takes 10 points of damage, I can simply navigate to that 50, type in minus 10, hit enter, and it'll subtract it to 40 for me. Uh, additionally, I could do a plus sign, plus 10, and it'll add that 10 health for me. If I click uh, this eye icon, it'll hide the monster from the combat track in the combat tracker to the players. I, as the DM, can still see it, but um, you know, it's handy if a uh, creature is not quite in combat yet, um, but you want them to be already rolled so that you don't slow down combat. Uh, you can have them hidden in there, I hit reveal, and then it'll be shown to them. Um, next over here, I showed you what the find token is. Of course, this uh, trash can icon is to remove the creature from the combat tracker altogether. And the final icon over here is the stat block icon. So if I click that, it opens up this nice window for their stat block. What's great about it is if I hit next, it'll actually highlight the next monster that I have uh, up in initiative as well and show their stat block. It'll ignore characters, but it'll continuously show the next monster that you have up. Really handy, so you don't have to continuously right-click on a token, open the monster stat block, worry about that at all. And finally, of course, if you need to uh, go back around, you can hit this previous button. If you need to clear out the combat track, you hit that. If you need to start it from the top of the round or, um, you know, initial or combat rounds to round one, once again, hit this re reset button. Uh, Reroll will reroll for all your monsters, and next will show you the next person in the combat tracker. Um, pretty much covers the basics of the combat tracker. Uh, if you click this icon here, you can pop out the window and move it to another monitor or, you know, uh, set it up on your window if, however you'd like. But those are the basics, and if you have any questions or need any help, feel free to let me know.